YouTube! I am Pinstar and this is Two Point Campus Strategy and Tactics and today we're talking about the Spy School. So the Spy School is one that you don't encounter in the campaign until a little bit, a little bit later. And for good reason. It's, it's kind of complex. It's a three-year class, hard difficulty rating, and it's kind of expensive and annoying to get set up. I'm not actually that big of a fan of it, just in general. I mean, yes, it's a later game class, but it is not super rewarding as it might seem on the surface. Now, what is the ideal class size for Spy School? Well, this one's a little bit different. This is one where, you know, normally I advocate a multiple of 16, and usually that's, that's between a 16 and a 24. This is one where I'm actually going to advocate for specific specifically 32, a 32 intake pool for this one. There's a reason for that. So as far as the room requirements go, it's actually kind of self-contained-ish. There are three instances of the gadget classroom being used and three instances of the panic room being used. So in that sense, at a 16, it's actually self-contained with those rooms. Now you have a little spillover into lecture halls, but I don't really count those as needing sister classes because anything combo into lecture halls because everyone wants lecture halls but then you have this one annoying little computer use here but there's plenty of, of rooms for singletons to to hook into the computer room here no the reason why I specifically advocate 32 is the fact that with 32 you need two gadget rooms and two panic rooms total. Now, as far as building these go, the panic rooms are simple, although a bit visually bugged right now. I don't know why it's doing this, but essentially all you need in a panic room is one of the obstacle courses. It really does not matter which obstacle course you pick. They're all the same. It's just different visuals. But at the moment, for some reason in my game, they're all covered in dirt. So don't, don't, just disregard that. I'm sure that'll get fixed up shortly. But but other than this, this is all you really need, and the 12 by 6 minimum room size is all you really need either. It's enough to fit this thing in there, and then just line the walls with temperature fixers or decorations as you see fit. Nothing really else to worry about. Gets a little bit more complex when we get to the gadget rooms. Gadget rooms are 5 by 6, and I would recommend going with the 5 by 6 build, but there are a lot of big and bulky items that you need in these gadget rooms both to improve their learning power, but also needed for the assignments. That being the target range, the big bomb, tech tables, drone tables, chemical tables, spy shelves, the crystal ball, and of course the required placement of the jetpack station in each of those rooms along with the door, of course. So what I recommend is having two different rooms, each with a different array of the optional requirements, so that way all of your spies across the two classrooms that you're going to need anyway with a 32 incoming class size will be able to do all their homework assignments from one of the two rooms. Not to mention these are pretty good. There is one upside, to the spy school in the fact that you can upgrade the jetpack station to get learning buffs there. Plus there are sizable learning power buffs on these. Now, do I think it's worth the time, the space and the cost to spam them? Not really. Some of these are really expensive and also really bulky. So it would require a lot of space to do a triple spam of these. I mean, you could, but I like to, to be a little bit more efficient. So two rooms, one room with the target range, the big bomb and a tech table, along with the required jetpack station. And then another room in this configuration with the crystal ball opposite of the jetpack station, spy shelves, chemical table and drone table. One other thing to note, see these little red bombs in the corner here? These need to go in the corner. The game will not like it if you try to rotate this in any other orientation and place it in the corner. It's gonna demand space on the other sides, but that's inefficient. So put the red bomb thingies in the corner and it'll let you sort of snuggle it into the corner and give you room elsewhere in the room for some of the other bulkier items. Before we get into the spies themselves, let's talk about sister courses, because even at a 32, the spy school still has an open-ended link 
with their computer room because at a 32 it would take up four slots of a six slot computer room so that leaves two slots open luckily there are lots of other classes where if you run them at a 16 pair perfectly with the spy school that is the archaeology internet history and musicality if you run any of these three sister classes at a 16 then at least the computer room will fit snugly into that of the spy school and these are all pretty good in fact if you wanted to go for an early game late game you could go archaeology into spy school and grab that and hook the spy school into the computer lab part of the archaeology course since this is more of a late game thing that requires a lot of money and archaeology generates a lot of money so that's a pretty good flow now as far as the spy students themselves so one of the benefits of the spy students is that they have a chance of randomly uh, uncovering a new research type for you as you can see here we have a lot of these financially but also kudosh earning bonuses as far as these different things here these are different researches that once the spy uncovers it you can then use your lab to research the project and as long as you have a researcher with the associated type here will you pay a little bit of a fee but then it at the end of the research it will generate a chunk of cash that seems nice but I'm a little dubious of its ultimate value. The money, by the time you have a research station set up and you can afford to keep some teachers with research skills on payroll, and you can afford the spy school and all of the expensive rooms and equipment that comes with it, you don't need the money from these little side researches. You're, you're already financially secure through other means. That only leaves the niche benefit of the kudosh rewards, which if you're playing this through the proper campaign by this stage of the game, you've already generated enough kudosh that you could unlock whatever you want. We are sitting at over 6,000 kudosh in the bank here. So the only real viable gameplay bonus situation would be if you were running a sand box game where everything started off locked again and you needed to unlock them this would be a, a way to get additional things unlocked so that you could get more kudosh so that you could then unlock more stuff more rapidly since you're not you since you already don't have it so that would be my one case and and i actually might take that ball and run with it when i do a stream of the hard mode sandbox later on go through a full setup with that with all of the kudosh items reset i might actually utilize spy school for all for all my poo-pooing that i've been giving it it is it does have its uses but if you're just playing in the campaign other than blundergrad itself i wouldn't worry too much about it also a note on the double agents the snitches the the undercover people the ones that cause issues the most powerful tool you have in your toolbox against them to help catch them are student lounges that is because only eight people can go in here and and it is very obvious that when a you know, when the double agent comes in here everybody in the room gets the debuff and the moment they leave everybody in the hallway gets it so it's really easy to watch that door carefully and track who goes where rather than trying to hunt them down in the hallway when they're wandering around and spreading it to everybody where it's not quite as clear so on this level build plenty of these as well as other smaller rooms and that way you can try and catch them in their act and have as few accidental expellations compared to just randomly guessing so that is my spiel on spy school if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it go ahead and hit that like button hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment good bad or indifferent your feedback's always welcome so until next time this has been pinstar signing out see ya